It's the Daily Dog. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to the Daily Dog. Thanks for being with me today. It is a Monday, and, and here in America, it is a holiday. It's President's Day today, so a lot of folks have the day off. But uh, I am not taking the day off. I am working on behalf of all of you because it's a Monday, and y'all, we deserve a Metal Monday. So that is what I am bringing you. And I, I am happy that you are here because I think I've got a good one for you. I'm going to be listening to music from the band Kill Switch Engage for the very first time. So uh, all month I have been uh, uh, celebrating Black History Month, and uh, there's not a ton of African-American musicians that are involved in metal music specifically. And so uh, when I was asking around for some suggestions about uh some Metal Mondays during this month, this band kept coming up, and specifically this lead singer, Howard Jones. And so uh, the more that we looked into it, we're like, yeah, let's give these guys uh, a shot. I want to listen to them. So we're going to be listening to Kill Switch Engage and their song, The End of Heartache. So as I read into this band, they are described as a metalcore band, and I didn't know what that meant, so I looked that up. <laughs> <laughs> and it says that it is a style that fuses elements of metal music and punk music. So I am intrigued, my friends. Uh, Killswitch Engage, they were formed in 1999 in Massachusetts, and they gained quite a bit of success and fame from their 2004 release called The End of Heartache. So this was their third album, and it was the first of their albums to feature uh, lead vocalist Howard Jones, as well as drummer Justin Foley. And uh, one of the songs from this album, uh, called When Darkness Falls, was included on the soundtrack to Freddy vs. Jason, uh, a horror film released in 2003. And uh, we fast forward a year, and the title track, The End of Heartache, was also connected to a popular movie at the time. It was a, a featured song in Resident Evil Apocalypse, an, uh, an action horror film uh, that is based on the popular video game series. I do not like horror movies, y'all. I have not seen either of those. <laughs> Uh, movies. The, the the song The End of Heartache was also nominated for a Grammy for Best Metal Performance. So I, I'm looking forward to, to seeing what these guys got. Uh, Howard Jones is on lead vocals. Adam uh, Dukowitz is on uh, lead guitar and backing vocals. Uh, Joel Stratzel is on rhythm guitar. Mike D'Antonio is on bass. And uh, Justin Foley is on the drums. The lyrics are credited to uh, Howard, the lead singer, and the music is credited to the band. There are a couple of versions of this song that I have uh, access to. The original video uh, is, is available. Uh, they, we've also got the original album cut, which is longer than uh, the video, but I'm gonna go to a live performance of this. Uh, this is a live performance from July of 2005, and uh, Megan tells me that it sounds great, and so uh, whenever I have access to a live video where I get to see these bands doing their thing in front of their fans, it, it, it gives me a sense of, of more of what they're all about. So let's take a look, y'all. The End of Heartache by Kill Switch Engage, live from 2005. Here we go. Well, Justin? Well, Justin. This is the end of our age. Oh. I want to hear every voice in this place. That's look at his guns. I I do what he asks. Seek me, call me. I'll be waiting. That's a fifth from C up to G over C minor. Goes down to B flat. No. Damn. They went down to A flat. I want you all to join me.
love that the audience is just in it with them. It's one down to flat six. Surrender. I give in. Unbelievable. For comfort, seek me for comfort, call me for solace, I'll be waiting for the end of my broken heart. It's a sad tune. Six, the flat six. Unbelievable stage presence, y'all. Just let the audience join in. is not happy about this relationship. <laughs> there's seven, there's six, seven, one, no, back to six. how they end it. Dun -dun 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 -dun. <laughs> that lifted me out of my chair about y'all. Holy crap. Um, I'm not, <clears throat> I'm not normally a big fan of those vocal screams. They just are completely different <laughs> from my own vocal training. You know, uh, I, it's not like a vocal coach would be go, you know, where you can like just kind of scream and, and get your chords all just intense and, you know, you should do that a lot. No voice teacher I've ever heard has encouraged that. Uh, but it is definitely an intense way to use your instrument uh, to uh, in, in a way that only you can. Right. Uh, really. Um, I'm just flabbergasted by his ability to, to, to command the stage like that. The song is called, you know, the end of heartache, right? So, uh, it's a breakup song, or at least I think it's a breakup song. It could just, it could be describing a breakup, but it also could be just simply describing a relationship with immense separation. 
uh, maybe a long distance separation. In the first verse, this distance, this disillusion, I cling to memories while falling. Sleep brings release and the hope of a new day. Uh, at the very beginning, the intro, seek me, call me, I'll be waiting. You know, he is torn up about this. Um, I, as I was reading in, I uh, read that uh, Howard here, the the, uh, the vocalist, uh, names Mike Patton of, of Faith No More and Mr. Bungle as one of his, biz, uh, his biggest musical influences. And Mike has an unbelievably uh, broad uh, vocal range and and uh, you know of genres that he can move in and out of. And Howard looks like he is extremely vocally gifted and able to go in a variety of ways. That fifth, uh, yum bum, right? It's just an open fifth vocally. I t I tend to think of a fifth of a key as being optimistic, right? So maybe he's seeking uh, transcendence through that open interval, especially at the beginning of the song. Um, so, but it's called the end of heartache. So for him, especially if I looked uh, at the outro for comfort, for solace, seek me for comfort, call me for solace. I'll be waiting for the end of my broken heart. So for him, um, the end of heartache can only happen when the separation is no longer <laughs> happening, right? Really, really uh, uh, a powerful, powerful tune. I will say this as well. Howard left the band in 2012, so he's no longer with them. He needed time um, to manage his diabetes and to tend to his own mental health. Uh, he had struggled with anxiety and depression for quite some time, <clears throat> and his increased uh, notoriety with the band sort of... Um, you know, increased that, right? So sometimes when you get more known the, and more uh, uh, successful, the anxieties that you're dealing with can can get a little bit bigger, right? Uh, uh, it's nice to see that he is still friends with his former bandmates. He's worked with them to help raise awareness of mental health issues. And to that end specifically, he was a guest singer with uh, the band on uh, a song called The Signal Fire, which is included on their most recent album called Atonement, re uh, released in 2019. So these guys continue to be friends. I read that he is friends with Jesse, the current lead singer, and uh, they uh, are doing their thing. And, uh, it, you know, for a band that's compared to punk, uh, this is quite, uh, I wouldn't say uplifting, but it's it's connected to uh, a really intense and real uh, facet of of the human experience, right? It's it's uh, disillusionment, it's separation, it's it's longing, it's longing for connection, and it's a it's a big time song. And so I was really impressed with these guys. I am uh, eager to hear more from them. I also want to hear what Jesse sounds like and see more of what Howard is up to. This is really, really uh, a fun one. So uh, thank you to all of you that suggested that I look at this band, Kill Switch Engage, and specifically uh, Howard Jones on the lead vocals. That was a powerful, powerful performance. Uh, but that is it for today, friends. I think that Metal Monday will get us going for the week. And uh, I'm excited to, to have brought some music by Killswitch Engage to all of you today. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time on another edition of The Daily Doug.